Howdy howdy people, Seiko Starcraft back with game two between Adele Scott and Reese. I think I was calling him Race last time. Race? Up here is the red Terran in the top right, Adele Scott. The funky orangish yellowish Protoss in the bottom left. Speed it up just slightly as we get started here. Spent a bit of a day playing some ladder games and started to realize that my complete lack of playing over the last little while has really been to my detriment when it comes to macro. Wasn't a really successful day on ladder. I think I might be casting a couple of those games here in the next little bit. But you just feel kind of sad after a while. Losing a few games on ladder. No gas out of the Terran player. Looks like it's going to be a command center first. No barracks in a weird spot. That side. And on the Del Scott side, we see a gateway. What if this is going to be like a two racks of something like that? This is a really interesting spot. Gas is down. We'll be finishing up here pretty soon. We probably won't be able to get out enough gas to get out a Reaper right away. But it shouldn't be too much delayed if that's what he wants to get. No, he's going to get himself a Marine. We do have a Zealot on the way out, which I think is kind of surprising against Terran in this day and age. If they go for some sort of Reaper opening, the Zealot really doesn't help you too much. So I see a lot of Protoss is cutting that early Zealot, essentially because they want to get out their Stalker sooner, because that can obviously be microed against Reapers quite well. Nothing too funky yet out of the Terran player, so I'm not too sure what his strategy is now. Maybe it's going to be a command center? I would have to assume so, it's sure not doing much. Oh yes, he's going for this again. Game 1, he went for the engineering bay block. Game 2, looks like the same thing. Adele Scott appears to be completely supply blocked at the moment. So that's really going to set back his play. Not much you can do about the Zealot now, unfortunately. Once again, this is why getting out that early Zealot doesn't necessarily help you. Trying to keep the Zealot on the high ground. He's not too worried about taking damage on the Reaper. It will repair itself, obviously. Bit of a micro game. He's trying to micro the Reaper back towards the Stalker. And that goes down without too much trouble. The engineering bay almost completely finished. Is there a kill on either of these? No, there isn't. Did the SCV get away? It did too. Great opening here from Ray's. Protoss is going to be super far behind. There is a bunker finished. And he's starting to make marines. Command center is on the way. Still producing SCVs. Is it? Well, I guess he was getting close to supply block. He might as well use that guy. Stalker is coming in. These two marines are going to be enough to deal with that just fine. One That isn't even worth your time. I know, because I've tried. Going to attack that supply depot, but I don't think Race is too concerned. Well, he'll come out and repair it. Uh-oh, Adele Scott, pay attention to your shit. Very close to losing that. The Marines are pretty beat up, but you'll notice that... Oh, he did lose the Reaper over here, doing too much micro. Supply Depot is more than likely going to go down. Ugh. Yeah, he loses that Marine pretty easy. That... <laughs> That SUV is kind of in a bad spot right now. I don't know if it's even really that big of a deal. Try to take out the Mothership Core again. It is pretty good stalker pressure at the front here. Raze has got tons of supply opportunity right now, though. He's not really that far set back. Getting out a Widow Mine. I do like this really early game stalker pressure, though. Quite, effect quite effective. It does have enough range to actually see this command center. It will finish, and you'll be able to lift it before any real damage happens. This is still here. No expansion anywhere in sight from the Protoss player. Instead, he's going to go for one base, four or five gate, it appears. No, he's only got two gateways still. Stalkers are heading home. That was the, the risk he had to take. You want to put pressure on the Terran? Instead, back at home, he's going to be really, really delayed on his expansion and taking the risky third base again. That race is going to go and scout. Widow Mines are out. Already has a medevac on the way. And he's going to put down a tech lab. Maybe he's going to be going for tanks. Who knows. Let's see if he goes for a drop on the third. Wouldn't surprise me too much. Did cancel that engineering bay. Still a random supply depot over here. I think that's hilarious. 
Oh yeah, out goes the medevac. Should be able to put pressure on this base. There isn't really much for upgrades right now from the Terran player. Doesn't have a tech lapse. There's no stam or combat shields or anything right now. Stalkers would be able to protect this just fine, but they are at home right now to protect the main base. Four gate expansion. Terran should be able to get some good damage on this. I don't know if he'll be able to cancel it. Is he going to drop here? He sh I would expect him to. Widow mine down. Adele Scott does see that widow mine. Oh no. This could be really, really bad. How many lose there? Two, three probes. This is not the worst that could have happened, but still quite shitty. Medivac going around this side with another widow mine. There's no detection out right now at all for the Protoss player. He doesn't have a starport for oracles, and he doesn't have a robo. So he's in a pretty tough spot. This base is going to be essentially useless to him for a while. He's going to move away. He seems to know the timing of the Widow Mine fairly well. I don't think it matters, apparently. He's going to come up to put some pressure on. There is a bunker here. That Marine's essentially toast. I think Adele Scott's going to go for an all-in. This tank back here and this tank on the high ground. There is Blink finished. But the positioning of the Terran, I think, should be enough to keep this alive. Did he scan right now? Yeah. Blinks up. He's gonna focus fire down the tank. He's gonna immediately move over all these and very fast GG from Adele Scott. Once again, it doesn't look like Adele Scott knows how to deal with this early block. Uh, just really smart, simple play from Race. Really strange. Um, Shows a little bit of lack of preparation on Adele Scott in my mind. Let's see what he can do for game three.